Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Modicky, and I'm a board certified Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. And today we're going to talk about Barry Manilow. He is now 78 years old, and he's almost always featured in articles about celebrity plastic surgery. But how many times do we think he's gone under the knife? It's interesting because the Copa, <laughs> Copa Cabana, <laughs> the Copa Cabana singer has definitely changed since his glory days in the 70s. And he, it's interesting though, he's one of the, the people that still often denies ever having cosmetic surgery. So although it's been reported, he's probably had numerous facelifts over the years. We're gonna just dive in and take a look and see what we might think he's, he's had done over the years. So I thought we'd start with a little background on Barry's alleged plastic surgeries. There's a lot of stuff in the media in the early 2000s about Barry having a uh, upper and lower facelift, which is interesting because there is no upper facelift, but they may, they may have meant a facelift and a brow lift. And it's also interesting around that time, uh, about a month prior to all that news breaking, uh, Barry had said that he walked into a glass wall or hit his nose and broke his nose. And that's what you know he was doing. He was maybe doing a rhinoplasty, but I, I do know that a lot of people Doing rhinoplasty will say they have breathing problems and then say they're getting their nose done for that, but I've never seen anybody say they may have broken their nose to cover up for a facelift. Um, so I think it is kind of interesting. It's also interesting as we, we go through this, you'll see, I don't think his nose has really changed at all throughout the year. So I'm not even suspicious that he ever did a rhinoplasty. Uh, and then, I, then there is a time when the mid, like I think it was around 2016, he went on a talk show and uh, somebody asked him questions about, how are you looking so good for your age? People are saying, well, has he had a lot of work done? What's God, going on Jonathan, there? look at me. I look, I, mean, I look like my, don't I look like my age? Well, I mean, what do, you, what do you want? This is what I look like. I don't know what the hell they're talking does about. Does it get tiresome though, reading that stuff about yourself? It does, it's, it's, it's infuriating knowing that this is what I'm, this is me at 70. <laughs> and I don't know if we believe that, but we'll take a look. And then he did at one point, again, admit something that he had a procedure done to eliminate the jowls in his face. And again, that would be a facelift. Um, so a facelift uh, really addresses this part of the face. So it's going to address the neck and the jowls mainly in correcting all of this. Uh, you know, the mid face is usually done with fillers or a little volume, and then there's the brow lift. So if he was doing something to address the jowls uh, and he admits to that, it's most likely probably was a facelift. Uh, so we're going to go through some of his photos now and take a, take a closer look at his face. So if we look at Barry in his 20s, 30s, and even his early 40s, he has this characteristic Barry Manilow nose that is kind of this characteristic <laughs> distinguished look to his face. Um, I don't see a ton of changes there. He was, even when he was younger, he had very heavy upper eyelids. So again, as he's moving through there, I don't see a ton of different changes in him. I think it is interesting because at that time, earlier in the 70s and things like that, Botox fillers, things like that weren't even, were, were just barely starting to get introduced, you know, a little bit after that. So he wouldn't have had too many options in those days to do. <laughs> you know, celebrities back then didn't have these options to do fillers and um, Botox, you know, in their early 30s and 40s. Uh, then we look in, when he's starting to get into his 50s, uh, you know, in the 1990s to the early 2000s. And now, you know, Botox fillers are uh, in the playing field. I think he's probably was playing with Botox and fillers and doing those sorts of things. And then around that time, I don't see too many really obvious drastic changes in his face, although he is aging. <laughs> so again, like I said, people are gonna continue to age unless they're doing something preventative or something to reverse those changes. So I do think at that point, um, like I said, there's already, the, already starting with the Botox and fillers at that time, but I do think he's done surgery that time. And I think it was more of a mini facelift or something to set that stage so that he, he continued to age more gracefully. It was done conservatively. If I'm looking um, at his jawline and around his ears, you can see that it's nice and sculpted and his ear does look a little bit altered there. So I would say it's suspicious for a facelift at that point in time. Then secondly, we noticed that his heavy upper eyelids are improved. So I do think as well that he may have done. I'm more suspicious of an upper laparoplasty than a brow lift. Again, I'm, I'm not a fan of brow lifts in men. And it doesn't look that strange, but his eyes definitely look more rested and open. So I'm suspicious at that point about, like I said, an upper bluff and a facelift. And then I think as we move a little bit further along into, into his 60s, uh, in the 2000s, again, I'm looking at his photos and I noticed that his earlobes have changed. They look a little pasted on. Again, these are signs, you know, giveaways that a facelift was done. I do think that his cheeks look a little bit fuller. It looks like, again, maybe fat grafting or filler along with that facelift. Uh, and again, that tire looked his eyes gone. So whether he's doing more touch-ups 
along the way as, as far as doing multiple little surgeries, maybe. And again, at this point, I don't think he looks rather strange or anything. He's doing, you know, he's looking like himself and he's looking like he's not aging all that much, which is good. And again, I noticed looking at his nose that I don't see any change in his nose. It's still his characteristic kind of nose with the bulbous plunging nasal tip. So again, I don't think he's, he's actually touched the nose. It wasn't until I think a little more recently, <laughs> you know, not super recently, but that when he came out looking really poofy again and strange. And then like I always say, when you go to extreme, you're gonna give the secret away. And that's when he got all this attention because he came out in some photos and he just looked poofed up and overdone. He, I think at that point he, he blamed it on a, a hip problem and he was doing steroids and he got poofy. And that's possible if you gained a lot of weight and you got poofy, but I don't think that was due to that poofiness. When we look at him, to me, it really looks like he was overdone. And, and again, that's gonna give the secret away. If we look at his mid face and his cheeks, really poofy neckline pulled up. Upper eyes and brow, again, maybe a secondary procedure done there because they look, again, over pulled up and done. And, and again, the reason it got so much attention and because it was so drastic and extreme. Uh, now, if it was due to the swelling, again, I would have advised him, you know, hey, you know, stay out of the photos for a while, but maybe he didn't have a choice. We're seeing multiple photos at that time where he definitely looked poofy. Veneers, I think, again, were done. His teeth look a little bit more whitened and bigger. So he was maybe getting into the realm of doing things a little too extreme at that point. Now that Barry's in his mid-70s after that kind of earlier poofiness phase, I think he's gotten better. I think he's let things calm down a bit. I think that he's laid off the alleged plastic surgeries and I think he's aging more gracefully. So I think it's actually a move in the right direction that he's allowing himself, like I said, to maybe look more like his age and that, instead of strange. And I think it's a move in the right direction for him. And then I, I think lastly, one point I want to make about uh, Barry Manilow is that he didn't touch the nose. And through all of this work, alleged work, and plastic surgery, he didn't modify the one characteristic feature about his face that leaves him as Barry Manilow. So I think that's a great thing. So he's still recognizable. He's still Barry Manilow. He's calmed down a bit. And I think that's a move in the right direction for him. Do you think that part of the reason why his look may be considered strange because he's pretty old. So when he was first getting plastic surgery, he was kind of like at the modern day advent of plastics, right? You mean like older techniques? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's something to be said about that. You know, the techniques have definitely improved over the years. And I do see that the techniques, like I've told you before, that I saw in the earlier men, there wasn't as much male plastic surgery. So a lot of people were getting a female facelift or bra lift on a male and it would end up looking weird. And so now that the techniques have advanced and we, you know, there's more realization that you have to do a different sort of surgery on a, on a male patient than a female patient, you know, maybe some of that strangeness or oddness could be avoided. And I think there's a lot of that learning curve and hopefully good plastic surgery, like I said, we know to be more conservative in them and do less and tweak it along the way so that in his case, he could age a little more gracefully uh, without going as extreme.